Hello everyone, Teacher here, back with another video. Today I want to uh, show you through a plug and play character. And also I want to uh, do my chest pulls so you can see the results. And then wager if you think it's uh, worth the diamond investment. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So we're going to start off here with this uh, chest right here. I have really given it a lot of thought. Do I want to pull this chest? Yes or no? And I've decided to go ahead and do it. So uh, we have these five and we get of each. And there's a, a minimum chance of five, 200, 120, etc. So with 15 being the average. So hopefully I get some good luck. And let's go. Oh god, I'm nervous. This is really not gonna be good, I feel. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. This is amazing. 20, 75, 120. This is actually really good for my iron hide. Uh, so, here we go again. Let's see what we can get. Ah, not good, not good. So I got 25 uh, Halberat shards. I got 140 uh, gas ironhide. I got Seven ninety uh, bulk shards in total, and you think I don't remember it, but either way, I got him to five star, and this actually means that I'm gonna go ahead and do something as well. I have saved these, so here we go. We're actually gonna go go ahead and do Halberat to six star, and after I've done this, I'm gonna uh, swap over to Tibet just because. I use him in many different teams and this will help his heal, so that's pretty nice. And let's see overall. So Ironhide, yeah, I'm actually going to go back and farm him for a 6 star. Because I think this could give me... Uh, I, I will then use him with my Rohan 3 team uh, for some AoE. Um, so helping get uh, things down there. Ocklock... Might as well promote him. At the moment, I feel I got the gold, but we'll see. So, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and upgrade bulk, but that was pretty amazing. Now, what I actually do want to talk about is the character that I feel is a very hidden plug-and-play that not many are going to do. And we're actually going to go ahead and farm him first, just to see if we can level him up. Yes, you might already have guessed who it is. It is Dunhar. And we got the shards, so let's go and make him 5 star. So you might be wondering, what the hell is Teacher all uh, on about mentioning Dunhar as a plug and play character? We're gonna go over his kit and I'm gonna tell you why he's a kinda hidden plug and play. So, uh, we're gonna go first here. And say here, you can actually inflict one stack of bleed for 3 turns. That's pretty nice on a basic. And it's okay damage. Then you have heal block, uh, now this is good for the troll. Then you have a heal block, that is good for the balrog. Uh, and then here you have a free turn stamina, uh, a free turn heal, which is honestly 18% heal for a single target. It is okay, it's not the greatest, but it is okay. And then uh, also you inflict weaken. So that's pretty nice, that can work on both the Balrog and on the Cave Troll, and Weekend is quite nice. And here you get some health, and you, you get focus, and you actually gain defensive, so overall, it is okay, and he is pretty speedy, so when Glyphs are coming out, you don't, if you get, like, we heard, like we heard back with the AMA and other things. I've heard the number 15 being thrown out there a lot in uh, Thona's video um, with Nick back then and we also saw it in the AMA. They mentioned something like 90 speed and I've seen the number 19, uh, 
90 and 15 thrown out there. So let's just assume on the glyph that is 15 speed. We don't know. But that would make him actually a very, very good speeder for the chapter 3. So overall, I think he's an okay plug and play. And this is especially free to play minded because you're going to have Isengard as your early game team. So if you look at this, then he is actually pretty okay. I want to kind of like uh, just briefly cover the other Isengard members. So uh, Oglock is pretty speedy as well. He has the... Uh, he has a blind, which can be situational good. Uh, it can work on the cave troll. He can also inflict disable. There's the disable trick sometimes when you kill the troll and it comes out of the toppled face. Then you can uh, counter some stuff. Uh, then he has uh, able to inflict uh, weak minded if he blocks, which is pretty nice. And then here he has two provoke stacks. So, and his stats are actually pretty good. And you see him a lot in arena. So. Very, very short. Uh, Azak has some bleed and some expose. Good for both of them. Uh, I'm thinking chapter 4 and chapter 2 when I'm saying it like this. And he also has pretty good speed and he has uh, high base damage. So for it lifts, uh, a withering uh, on him could be pretty nice. I believe that is the one. Uh, Mauher is the slow one. So, um, whoops. There we go. And yeah, um, so Mauher, pretty slow, and then we have Morsha, so, but overall, I feel Dunhar is a pretty good plug-and-play character, so that's what it is, and yeah, this was a very short video, I'm really looking forward to a raid starting very, very soon, we did 190 in our last raid, hopefully we can push a little bit further. And it's going to be a very exciting week with a Q&A upcoming. And also there's going to be a new uh, marquee. And as you can see, I have actually finished my Sam adventure. So let me know in a comment down below what do you think about Dunhar with his uh, kit for Chapter 2 and Chapter 4. Have you pulled the chest uh, gems for 1500? And how did you fare? And leave a like if you liked the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.